Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are gonna rank all my blushes. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. So I did film the part one with the bronzers and highlighters. So I will link that down below. So let's start. I am very happy with my blush collection. I do like most of them, but um the highlighters ranking was the hardest one this one was decent let's start with the number nine this is the newest blush in my collection actually and it is the revolution super dewy liquid blush and i have the shade flushing for you this shade is so beautiful i really like it but sadly this blush is not that effortless you need to be careful if you are blending it too much it will get patchy if you apply too much it will get patchy if you apply too little, it will get patchy because you are gonna try to apply a bit on top and it will get patchy. So because of that, it's not my favorite one. I just prefer blushes to be easy. I prefer in general makeup to be easy. Usually good formulas are pretty easy to work with. Of course, eyeshadows, you can make them complicated, but for the face, Things should be easy to apply. So this is not that. That's the reason it's the lowest one. And even though it's very affordable, I don't recommend it. For the number eight, I actually have a brand that I adore in general. But this blush is not for me. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush. And it looks something like this. The packaging, first of all, so small, so compact. It is a powder blush. It's so beautiful. I do really like the packaging and everything about it. But this blush is just not for me. Probably it's made for somebody with a deeper complexion, which is great. I like that these kind of blushes exist. Very, very pigmented blushes. But I would prefer a blush that is buildable rather than very pigmented you need to just take the smallest amount of product and it will be very pigmented. It is a very beautiful color, but on my skin tone, it looks very, very bruisey if I am applying too much. So that's the reason it's not my favorite. Then we have the NYX Sweet Cheeks uh, Cream Blush. This is the shade Almost Famous. And this one has... A doe foot applicator the other one from um, revolution is just a squeezy tube this is a better formula the revolution one is just a bit too serumy for a blush in my opinion this one is a bit thicker but it is easier to blend this is very pigmented though so you need to be careful with this one as well so there's a reason it is a bit lower and i don't love this type of packaging i prefer something in a pan usually that is a bit easier but this is a really good formula. I do like it and it is from the drugstore, but I do prefer others. The number six is the LYS one. And this is the higher standard satin matte cream blush. And I have the shade Confident. This is again, very beautiful. I don't love this packaging. I know that LYS loves triangles in general, which is different for the market. That is great. But if you are going to finish this product, you will remain with the corners, which is not, not great. I know that I'm not going to finish this uh, product, so it is okay. This is a setting matte formula. In general, I do prefer a bit more glowier blushes. That's the reason this is number six. For the number five, we have the NYX Sweet Cheeks, but this one is the powder form. This is the Summer Breeze shade. So this is another orange. They are going together pretty well. It is a very, very glowy blush, very stunning on the cheeks. It is pretty pigmented as well, but you can make this one work. It's easier than the, than the Natasha one, for example. So I do really like this one. It, it is a really good formula from the drugstore. For the number four, we have the Melt cream blush light and I have the shade sundown this shade is unique in my collection and it is so beautiful if I can open it 
it's a more neutrally shade, like a nudish brown. It's so beautiful. This it's a bit shimmery. It's so stunning. I really love it. It's very good formula. On number three, we have the mineralized blush from MAC, and I have the shade Sweet Enough here. I love this blush. The thing that I love about this blush in particular is not that glowy, but it's very, very smooth on the cheeks. If I'm doing a more matte look, this is so beautiful. This formula is so smooth, so I think it will be great for more mature skin. Of course, you can wear whatever at any age, but if you have some wrinkles or some texture, this will be very, very beautiful on the skin. It will not emphasize that. It's more satiny, matte formula. I just love it. It's so good. For number two, we have my favorite cream blush. Of course, I did film the Battle of the Cream blushes. I didn't have this one in that video, but the rest of them, the four blushes are in that video. Uh, I'm curious if the ranking is still the same. Of course, I am changing my mind based on um, on seasons or stuff like that. But in general, I know that good formulas remain good formulas. And I know that this was my number one and it is still my number one, at least in the cream zone, because this is number two in this ranking. This is the Fenty Cheeks Out and I have the shade Petal Poppin, so another pink. These two together are so beautiful and they are wearing great. They are wearing amazing on their own, but together they will not move. So very good colors together and really good formulas. But back to the Fenty one. I just love this packaging. I love the color. I love everything about it. They have multiple shades. They have some with shimmers. This formula is amazing, very easy to apply, can't mess it up. I love that about uh, cheek products. And on the first spot, we actually have a powder blush and it is the Vitamin C by Pixie. And I have the shade Peach Dew. This is so beautiful. I had an accident just now. My blush just popped out, so I don't know if you can see, I will repress it after this video because I don't want to lose any of the product. I have it on my cheeks today on top of this blush because it looked a bit patchy on this cheek. So I saved it with, um, with this one because the colors are pretty similar. So this is so beautiful. It is so glowy, so shimmery, but in the best way possible. I love this one. This is pretty pigmented as well. So I usually take a brush and just apply a small amount. It's so, so stunning. The name Peach Dew, so perfect for it. It is very, very beautiful. I love my blush collection. These four are my favorites. I just love them. So if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.